Your Natchez History Minute is brought to you by Natchez National Historical Park. At harvest time in 1729, the 400 settlers of the struggling French colony at Natchez were prepared to enjoy the proceeds of a bumper tobacco crop at local plantations. What they got instead was fulfillment of their worst nightmare. A massive Indian uprising and a slave rebellion rolled into one. Early on the morning of November 28th, a group of 30 Natchez Indians with their hereditary chief, the Great Sun, arrived at Fort Rosalie, armed with muskets, and announced their plan to bring meat back to the French from their deer hunt that day. At the same time, small groups of Natchez men showed up at all the French settlers' home under various pretenses for trade of chickens and corn for powder and bullets. These were all normal daily interaction between the French settlers and the Natchez Indian. Suddenly, the group of Natchez gathered at Fort Rosalie, raised their muskets, and fired point blank on the French soldiers, killing them all. The sound of gunfire at the fort signaled death by musket fire, a war club for white males at all the French houses before they were scalped and beheaded. Some French women and children were killed as well, but most were taken as slaves and hostages along with many of the colonists' 200 enslaved Africans. A number of the Africans, however, took advantage of the opportunity to fight for their own freedom by assisting the Natchez in their uprising against the French. Only about 20 Frenchmen escaped the annihilation. The Natchez looted the wooden fence fort as well as the houses and storehouses of the settlement, then burned them all. They raided the French gallery loaded with European trade merchandise that lay docked under the hill, and they burned hundreds of acres of tobacco standing shoulder high in the fields, awaiting a harvest that would never come. I am Sir Seshab Heter C.M. Boxley. This is your Natchez History Minute.